Oh, hi everybody welcome back again and thank you for joining me so today i want to take some time off you know to talk about other things from the usual that i used to do i used to share my life in ghana my experiences in this amazing country i mean i talk about my incredible experiences living in ghana as a nigerian and how i have loved come to love this country so much and i I still feel great about the country. Even something happened some weeks ago and I felt like I wanted to go home. Like I was depressed for a whole week thinking about all that. So I wanted, I was like, oh my God, maybe it's better I go home. It took someone to remind me that I have to, I have come this far not to, not to go back like that. You have come this far. So hold on there, hang in there, stay there. You'll be fine. I got a call yesterday from my mom telling me about a woman in our village that lost her son and I felt like I need to speak to the world about this. They, I may be sounding like a pastor right now but I'm not, okay? I can't even remember the last time I went to church so just so you will know how terrible a sinner I am in the eyes of church going people. When my mom called and told me about the woman that lost her son in our village that happens to be her only son, her only son alive. So I couldn't sleep the entire night. I felt bad. And that brought back memories of, you know, childhood memories. Where growing up in my village, where my grandmother was and where my mom was, was not far apart. But I choose to live with my grandmother so that I could be pampered because my grandmother pampered me a whole lot. She believed, in, because my grandmother believed strongly in recarnation and she believed that I'm her mom who came back to life. So she has a different way of pampering me and I have always wanted to live with her instead of my mom who disciplines me, who tells me to go to school. I found all that to be annoying. So I wanted my grandmother, my grandmother's place because I do what I like. So in my grandmother's place, which is not too far away from my mom's place, the woman that my mom told me lost her son. I remember in those days she was beautiful, she was strong, she was energetic, she has everything going on for her. When it was time to get married, she's much older than me, please. She has kids, even her last child is not my mate. But I remember growing up in that village, knowing them, you know, her, her last child used to be the leader of our group when we were playing and all that. That's how that she's older than me. This woman was very feared in my place then. I'm not talking about respect though. She was not, you know, there are people that are naturally respected, but this one, she gets her respect by force. So she will force you to fear her by the things she will do to you or anybody who does not fear her, who does not respect her. So she forced her respect out of people. That man she's married to, the man she was married to, was a married man already who had a wife but married as a second wife but they maltreated the first wife so bad the first wife didn't even have plenty of kids the first wife only had one boy one child and then after some time she died so the family of the first wife came and begged them to allow them to take the boy with them so they were happy to give him away to the family so she can she she now she's not the rightful owner of the man everything was going perfect like she wanted she have kids so grown beautiful boys and girls in fact they were uh, the envy they were the envy of that village that time so her husband went to take up um take a second wife you know now she became like the first wife because the first wife already passed on so this second wife that came they used to beat her, maltreat her, she and her children. That second wife started having kids, which those ones I'm older than them. I was there when they married her and I saw everything. So she started having her own kids. So what they do is this woman, the now first wife and her kids, they used to beat that second wife in the farm. They would beat her mercilessly. And the husband would sit there and be laughing and be saying, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, come on, continue, good, good. Okay, good for her. Continue beat her well. They were all bitter. It's not like there's anything she have done. Or maybe they just give her a portion of the land to clear, farm to clear. And if she can't finish it, they will beat her. If she complain or if she take yam from their husband's um, barn, yam barn to roast for her children, they will beat her. So it's like that. If she resists, they will just beat her. Physical beating. 
this happened on several occasions like when it happens at home some village people will come those who are bold enough to speak up for others will come but those that are not bold they will just hide they will just hey when they even call them to come and judge they will they will say the wicked woman and her children they are right because nobody dare her it just take a few people courageous people to speak the truth to her from time to time and if you dare if you are not careful you will die nobody will know why you die so a lot of people are careful with this woman so what happened is the second wife started having you know she have kids now and each time they are beating her, her kids will be crying you know how young kids and these children will be crying oh my they will watch their mom being beaten they will cry they were traumatized so these children were always they, they have trust issues so if they see you around they always so the mom being a wise woman she was fed up because her kids are going through trauma so she just one day packed all her things and left she didn't even announce to anybody she just one day we just see one old truck one old truck came there and she emptied her room everything that belonged to her put it there and left leaving this woman and her marriage so the woman they were happy i mean that slave is gone she was happy this is what she wanted only her to be the wife of the man you know they were all good everything was going on fine and then later i left that village because my mom came for me because she had that become a rotten spoiled brat and then she needed to remedy me because my grandmother have really damaged my life in the name of love pampering me so my mom knew that she had a job to do in me so when my mom came to take me and then from there later later i left the village so i didn't know anything about them again but there was a time i went home that woman lost one of her her daughters her first daughter then later again i hear her kids just keep dying so sometime i'm in the village for whatever reason one of them will just you hear that one have died ah, you be like jesus this mama children so her kids have all died remaining only this one and then for my mom to call me again and tell me that this guy have died leaves me feeling like we need to talk we need to talk about the future my darlings if you are above 25 it's time oh, it's time for you to wake up and fear god fear humanity respect human when i say fear i mean just try to be good okay you don't really have to help people out of their financial situation if you cannot you don't really have to give them food if they do not have food to eat you don't have to accommodate them if they don't have where to sleep but you know what you hold humanity a duty for you not to cause people pain don't add sorrow to people's life it a pay back like it's a bad thing okay if you do it it waits for you in future i beg you in the name of god don't go bullying people don't go abusing people don't go dealing with people that have done you nothing just because they can fight back my dear i feel like we should talk and if you are a married man and you know you are okay with your wife you don't have to go and marry extra wife to come and be enslaving as for that man he's, he's he was okay with all that this woman acted he said he loved her that the first wife was not his choice it was his parents idea that he marries her this wicked woman is the woman of his dream so he pampers her he sees no wrong in her he gave her the freedom to do people anyhow she wanted now where is the man the man is late where her those are kids where are they today they are all gone this can happen to someone that have done nothing okay don't get me wrong there are people that have been good that lost all their kids and you know life can just be like that but this particular woman was evil now what do we call this what do we call this i felt like okay maybe it's good not even because you will not lose your children god forbid but maybe just so that people can at least feel your pain when this happens to you because in this woman's case people are gossiping people don't people don't care people feel like eh, men will we'll go there go tell and sorry now i know where i'm from people feel just my people can just say something like mm, eh, I'm sorry, on let's just go and say sorry but um a wicked woman you know they can gossip you like for people to genuinely you know come to comfort you is hard because you are wicked they are looking at oh maybe these things you did is as a result of your wickedness 
so please try to reduce things the people you maturate today the children you don't look take care of today because they are not from the woman you love tomorrow these children may be the only thing remaining on head here for you your man your the man you are married to now has a baby mama if i say this part it look it will look like i'm saying this in favor of me no but the man you are married to now Mm? or you're about to marry now has a child with another woman and he does not love her he has given you the authority to put her down because you are the queen you are not the queen of the universe remember now i'm, I'm sounding like a pastor <laughs> you are not the queen of the universe he said you are his queen him him alone is not god so be careful okay how you hurt people I beg you, be careful. These things have a way of coming back to haunt us. Okay, so try your best. It's okay. Don't don't listen to those lazy people without money. People that are poor. It's, a lot of the time we believe they are poor because of laziness. It's okay. Leave them. It's their fault. It's our fault that we are not hardworking. We don't have money. But as we are leaving them, don't add sorrow to their life. Don't try to oppress them. Okay. It was rumored then that she is the one that killed her first or her husband's her husband's first wife she is the one that did this a lot of the people that died then they said she was the one it could be true it could it could it may be may be true and it may as well not be true but because she's that kind of person everybody believed her they believe she did it now she's all alone old in her 80s with nothing the man she was beating people for killing people and killing people because of is no longer alive is six feet under the head and her, her kids that she was using to pride herself using to oppress other people she would call them oh you disrespect my mother to her they will beat you they are all gone none of them is alive she is alone and old and a lot of people are avoiding her because they believe she's a wicked woman so i am begging you today reduce the way you oppress people if you have a child and you are not taking care of that child just know that you're automatically cursed maybe you're a woman or you're a man sometimes we mistake this whole idea of single mother we forget that there are single fathers as well who are single-handedly raising their kids emotionally financially and physically the only one available in their child's life why the woman is elsewhere marrying she's alive maybe marrying or just looking for money or never care or just doing that to punish the man just remember that the future is going to hold you accountable you will give account for that thing you are doing just remember and then for those i know it's common among men you know it's common among men to just feel like it's okay to abandon a child after all you have other ones you replace them sometimes as somebody recently told me a story that story i was told that story here in ghana not even in i was told that story here 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 in ghana someone recently i'm trying to remember who told me this story but someone just got off the phone and then after that you now say oh can you imagine and i say what happened you say one man that um abandoned his wife because his first wife she had kids and then she um her kids one of one of them is deaf you know those deaf and dumb you know kids and then another one she had i think something else happened so the man left them and went to marry another woman and they had healthy kids and they are happy but now the children of the second wife are all useless they are not doing well not only financially but their behavior is off they don't behave fine some of them act like they mad people some of them smoke some of them in fact they are just criminal now is that dump and deft that woman's the other the first wife dump and deft son that is now responsible for the whole family that the man is able to eat is that boy remember that the people you are hurting other people for may die not may will die they may die before you or you may die before them and you now rem remember that the man i have fought my fellow women for the woman i have fought my fellow men for the woman i have done this because of is no longer alive be careful how you hurt people 
this is me oh. be careful how you hurt people now look at this davido and sophia i mean sophia momodu's issue and issues and my country people are saying things like hey let her go and walk she's jobless she wants money she's bitter because they didn't marry her i strongly believe that by this time sophia momodu already knows that davido was never going to marry her we baby mama has that instincts already because i'm now one i mean i'm baby mama we have that instincts that this man will not marry you we know it's not like you don't know so for how many years her daughter is eight years now she was the first to give birth to the baby before any other person we suddenly know that they said is uh, this the whole people are dragging these ones i can understand because in my country given the fact that sophia is from the minority tribe it can expose you to attacks for the other one that is not even a nigerian ah uh -uh, she have finished that one if they want to drag her they will but because a lot of attention because a lot of attention is on sophia momodu they are not even dragging the american girl if not if they want to tear her after all she's not nigerian they would tear her apart but this one that is people are hating on because the other lady that um the video is married to now is from the majority tribe so people will be like hey she's bitter a, a woman is coming out to call on you guys that oh can you guys please call your superstar and tell him to please remember to take care of his daughter he has not been taking care of his daughter you say she's bitter remember that everything you do today because davido is a superstar uh -huh. he can walk anywhere on heads nothing will happen to him remember there is god and there's tomorrow and there's karma remember that one day we are all going to be old and we will look back and think and wonder oh my god we should have done this right instead of you waiting to apologize to people why don't you don't wait for that do the right thing i am no righteous i'm not a righteous person but you see some of these sins this minor minor sins of you not oppressing other people i know they commit them it's against my religion my religion of open-minded against my faith is against my belief to oppress people to you understand so we are all clapping for david oh go for that girl she's bitter because he didn't marry her no sophia sophia momodu is not bitter because david didn't marry her even if you have nothing with me i don't have to force you to be responsible for your child it's happening you know this one i'm using them for instance we are all looking we are all going to be here to see the ending but remember that whatever you do today you will get your reward he didn't put a gun to his head to say okay you must get me pregnant you were not there you and i were not there some women find it you are happy with what a man tells you about your fellow woman when you are not when she's not there a man tells you oh i don't love her i love you you are smiling you are happy you believe him hey my sister have sense okay have sense there's a place called karma and when you go there the currency of it is tears so be careful whether they you don't love her yes you are the one you love enjoy it but don't use that as an opportunity to put the other woman down topic is is big for those of you that likes to deceive men and women to marry you for those our sisters in africa our brothers abroad that usually like to look towards home for a wife which is a good thing because for those of you that are waiting to marry these guys they take you abroad you just want the reason you're marrying them you don't love them you don't like their character you don't like their personality you just want them to marry you and take you abroad so that once you have your stay you fight for divorce you will do anyhow because over there you get the protection that we don't get here in africa here you do anyhow your husband will divorce you and leave you with nothing the society will still love you on top but over there it's not like that they are proper settlements even if you gives you nothing the opportunities for you to like at least walk and eat walk and eat yeah i mean to be able to get a job over there that will pay you your bill just your bill i'm not saying if you buy big cars or big house you know what i'm talking about so you have it in mind to just marry this guy when you get there you display bad attitude you give him every reason for some of you even to walk to deport the man that take you there my dear god sir, i should tell you today that he hates that sin don't commit it do not commit it that he hates it okay and for those of you my brothers you will use everybody you see hey, let me use this girl now let me use this woman to get to abroad when i go there i will dump her once i get the paper god sir, i should tell you to stop it if if any of these our brothers from abroad comes back and approach you and you don't like them tell them okay they will take it in good faith than for you to later betray them 
the, see, for me, I would rather handle rejection than betrayal. Rejection for me, that stage where I come to you and say, okay, come be my this, and then you say, no, you're not my type. That is rejection, which is okay. But betrayal comes later when you have fooled me just to use me to achieve your aim. Nothing stop it. People can help you. Someone that have nothing with you can help you achieve traveling abroad, can help you achieve a lot of things. I have seen someone dash somebody a whole house building, say, take the key. It's yours. Take it. You, I, have, I have others. I have a lot. So you take this for free. So but you, for you to feel like you have to use Connie to let the man marry you, when you get there, you divorce him. After all, you are there, there's nothing. I want you to remember that God hates it and, and there's a punishment for it. Okay? So if you are thinking about it, don't think about it. Stop it. If you already, if you already done that, go and apologize. If I were you, I'll find a way to make sure that I've been completely forgiven before it gets too late. It is better to cry at a young age youthful age and let the tears drip down your eye than to cry at your old age and the tears will be penetrating into your wrinkles their hot, their hot. god says god say i should tell you today to repent 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 don't come and marry any brother you don't like just because you want to get abroad and some of you have even successfully some ladies their own is so bad they will make this man go to prison no matter what he do to you if you don't want a marriage again but let it be sincerely based on the fact that he didn't treat you right but don't just look for any opportunity and say okay because i'm here abroad i'm done with the marriage the things that you would tolerate if you're a wife here in africa over there you don't want to tolerate it yeah over there i heard that men don't even have time to cheat on you because everybody is always busy working so please my sisters if your sole reason you are preparing to marry just to get there and just for the paper forget it there are other ways to get it there are other ways you can get your papers without having to hurt anybody and if this paper is not even papers to heaven it's papers to somewhere at another corner of the head so is it even worth it please be good be good human okay be good human so that if any bad thing happens to you you won't start thinking oh it's probably because of the wickedness i've done against this person that is why okay i am saying this out of things that i have seen and i don't want to keep it to myself for me this woman's story has inspired me to continue to be great and for those of you that are keeping people's children in your house you know you don't have a lot you don't have enough to eat their mothers ask you if you can take care of their kids you say yes you carry those kids you come and enslave you turn them into house help you don't give them food remember that there is a place called judgment and god will not spare you you maltreat those children and i have had to deal with a landlord who him and his wife who beat this girl this girl's name is Olwoma. But the, the man and his family, his kids and his wife, they now call her Oluojo. That's Oluoma and from Oluoma to Oluojo. Bad luck from good work, good luck, good work to bad work. That's what they have called that child. When they want to beat her, when the man himself wants to beat her, he doesn't do it regularly. Maybe he do it like twice a month. But the wife does it every day. You hear something, object hits the apartment. Bah! The next thing you hear all over, say, yeah, yeah, mommy, biko, biko. But when the man wants to beat her, he dedicates a whole one hour, flog her to every, when she runs, he follows her, he locks the gates, he beats her mercilessly. But they have their own kids, too. They have their own children, oh. Then they go to church, oh. Then they go to church, oh. They, are go, they go to church. Please, if you can't take care of someone's child, send them back to their families, to their mothers me i have had people give me kids and i say no i cannot afford it because i know myself because i know myself when i bring that child home i'm going to love and take good care of that child but right now because i know i can't afford it there's no point me pretending because i want to look good in front of people i cannot afford it is the language i don't get i can't afford it because my whole self if i see a good kind-hearted person that will not maltreat them i would have even taken them there to go and dash the person to help me raise mm? so please be kind to people the people around you 
kindness is not just limited to you giving kindness can be you not hurting i hope that this message meets you on time thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye